go get him again. Welcome back to the Robezoid channel. I'm your host, Mark, and welcome to an unboxing first impression video on my channel. Today, we are talking about the brand of Tom Ford and the private blend line, and this one right here called Lavender Extreme. Now, it's not a first impression, so we gotta scratch that off. Um, as I had a sample of this uh, back in the day, I have, a uh, I have a video of this back in March of 2023, so almost a full year since that sample um, that I finally will be unboxing this. So if you're interested to hear more about this fragrance, definitely about development and all that, please go check out that sampling samples video. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Of course, this is gonna be more about the introduction, kind of remind me of the fragrance. Now, Lavender Extreme is now discontinued. So it's a fragrance that, if I remember my sampling samples correctly, um, it's a lot better than the Palm, Lavender Palm, which I do have in my collection. It's up there with the Tom Ford collection. Um, was not a fan of the Palm. Um, this one was actually a lot better in my personal opinion. Now it's nothing new to the game. It's nothing crazy. You can definitely get something like this um, for cheaper. Um, there's definitely older fragrances that do this well as well. Lavender is a note that I, and I say this and here I am with a really expensive bottle, but it's it's a note that I usually don't spend beaucoup dollars on. Um, it's a note that's very pedestrian. Um, it's kind of like a vetiver based fragrance or a lavender based fragrance or um, grapefruit and, and things like that. Um, there's certain notes in perfumery that I don't spend beaucoup dollars on, even though the proof is right here. So, uh, but this is more of a collector's item for me. Um, the bottle, the silver bullet um, is just exactly what I want to add as a collector to my Tom Ford collection. So it's a very unique bottle to get. Um, but it is going to be very expensive for you to get nowadays um, since it's axed. So for me, I actually paid below retail. So I'm not too upset. I bought this uh, from a collector in the States. Um, he, uh, and this was a while back. This has been collecting dust actually. I bought this Rose de Russie and Veni Fatale. Um, I think he worked in a boutique and it, it was around... It was still around COVID time. So this is how long this fragrance bottle, this is the last one that I, I, I have to unbox. I've unboxed the other two. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited to finally get this out of the way. It's been really collecting dust and it's perfect time. It is spring um, and I got it for below retail. That's the whole point of the story was that, you know, I knew this one was, was gonna be on the chopping block. I knew that Vini Fatale also, it was basically the trifecta of those three fragrances. I kind of knew where they, they were going at that time. So I got them for a really good price. Um, so I'm not too upset with the purchase. I didn't overspend and I can't wait to add this to my collection. Um, I'm not expecting magic out of this fragrance. Uh, personally, it's not hugely in my taste. Um, it's more of a collector's piece than anything. Like if I had to put like a top 20 Tom Ford private blends, I don't even know if it would make the list. I'll be quite honest with you. I don't know, we'll see. But uh, let's unbox it and give my quick take on it. Um, before we get into that, hey, if you enjoy this content, please take the time to subscribe to the channel. Certainly appreciate that. And smash that like button. Um, I really do appreciate that. So we can go uh, into the algorithm. And maybe I'll get a, uh, I'll hit a thousand views on this video. I doubt it. Um, this is a discontinued fragrance. The hype is long gone. Um, this is what my channel is all about. And I'm going to take my sweet time <laughs> unboxing this because it's not opening up. Um, so this was a 2019 release. So it didn't, you know, it didn't last long. And in true Tom Ford branding, um, they discontinue as fast as they launch. If you don't sell, you're gone. Like, I mean, you're gone. Um, even the box itself is gorgeous. Holy, holy moly. Okay, so this is definitely, whoa, it was a lot more shiny than I thought it was going to be. Um, gorgeous, you know, the plaques and all that, um, really gorgeous presentation. It does have that little sticker and I will do it. Some of you are gonna be like, don't do it. Don't take it. Oh, look at that. This will be a fingerprint magnet. I could see this is the silver bullet of the Tom Ford line. Um, 
let's put it on uh, on on piece of paper first, and then on skin, and uh, we'll see. Again, uh, I feel like this was a classic take on lavender. So let's see if I remember that correctly. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? It's it's actually a lot nicer than I remembered. However, very straightforward lavender note. Um, no secondary notes kind of muddling into, um, you know, the, the primary idea of Lavender Extreme. It really is lavender centric. It's the lavender in here, not that it's the notes is not known for its rough edges, but there is no edges in here. This is absolutely blended to perfection. I'm um, really great blend here. Um, it's clean. It's refined. It. It's hard to make a lavender smell classy, in my opinion. In my opinion, um, I always correlate lavender with um, cleaning products. Um, it, it actually mostly it reminds me of fleeces, the things that you put in the dryers to, in your your clothes dryer to make your clothing smell better, and also um, soap. Um, a lot of lavender-based soaps out there, but. Uh, this smells very controlled, um, if that makes sense. The, the, the lavender note and everything that's surrounding it really emphasizes the primary. Um, it actually really smells high-end, um, clean, inoffensive. This could be your signature scent. Um, it is definitely floral. Um, it does have a little bit of a citrus hit. It's very slight. It doesn't remove the, the spotlight from the lavender. So there's kind of like a lemony uh, sparkle and that could come from an aldehydic vibe. There's a little bit of a creamy aspect, again, really helping out um, the lavender. And I think that's from the tonka bean in the base notes that it really is giving out a creamy vibe, like a white vibe with the aromatic lavender, the herbal lavender. Um, it's top notch. Um, it really toes that line of a pedestrian lavender to a classy high-end lavender. It really does. So for me, it was well worth the price as a collector in me. Bottle looks great. 100% um, this bottle is going to look like as a collector. I'm so happy that I I got this bottle because I, I at some point I was kind of like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to get this, but um, but for what's inside, um, as good as I'm gushing about this, you know me with prices, I, I'll, I'm not going to hold any punches. Like my Parfum de Marly reviews, it's honesty. That's all it is. And yeah, price is all about your wallet and your purse. Um, I, I really can't tell you what to buy or what not to buy. And I'm, I'm not in the business of doing that. This is not a business for me. Um, would I personally, and that's why I say stuff like this, so would I personally buy this if I didn't have the income that I have and the, no, this would not be my first choice. <laughs> I could find a lavender for probably under a hundred bucks that could probably do something like this or close to this. But yeah, it's a middle of the pack kind of um, Tom Ford. And uh, I sprayed on the... <laughs> I put the cap there, I sprayed it on the strip, and now it's the cap's full of, so you got to be careful. Uh, this is going to be perfect for today. Like, this is a spring day. The sun's out, actually, here in Canada. Maybe the last of our snow will melt. Yeah, there's still snow on the ground here in Canada, where I am, um, barely. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is gorgeous. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, a little bit of a... You know what? I think this is the first time, I don't even think I smelt that in the sampling samples or even mentioned it. It's the first time I actually smell a little bit of that, that sweet cinnamon. And that's why, you know, having the bottle and you can wear, you know, as much as you want. Sometimes you get aha moments. And samples, of course, they kind of limit you to as far as how many wearings you can wear. it. So yeah. Off the strip, it's exactly what I remember it. Um, really solid spring scent, and I'm happy to unbox it because it, it might make a top spring list. Because I think this is a really good lavender note. 
not a wild Tom, Tom Ford. Definitely not. I've, I've, you know, I have a whole bunch of them that are just, wow, it's just the way they are, but this is well constructed. So you kind of have to give it, even though it's a very pedestrian note lavender. Um, this is a fragrance that <laughs> that bottle's gorgeous. I can't stop staring at it. Um, yeah, I can't wait to take pictures of this one. It's going to be full of my fingerprints. So at the end of the day, yeah, simple, straightforward, classic lavender based scent. Overpriced? Yes. Probably why I got discontinued. Um, you, you can't, even though the quality is there, you, you can't release something like this and expect fireworks as far as sales goes for the price that you're asking. And that's just my, my opinion of the Tom Ford brand. Like I, I really love what you did here. Really good. But I can't see the appeal and I can see why it got discontinued. So now that you heard my take, I'd love to see yours in the comments below. Um, good or bad, um, you hate it, you love it, you agree, you disagree, you feel like other things are more interesting. I also absolutely love in the comments when some of you actually say, hey, you know, these fragrances, this, this, and this. If you like this, you can go in the past and smell this, this, and this, and it would be around the same uh, idea. Those are always great comments. Yeah, just a solid Tom Ford, like a middle of the pack type of Tom Ford. Like if I had to, I would probably have over 50 private blends. I would probably put this in the 20s somewhere. And I mean like 27, 28, you know, best of all time. Um, I can think already the Rolodex is going that I probably have at least 25 that are better than this, if not more. Um, but I don't know, like, this is one of those that's going to be like, I just want something fresh, clean, um, inoffensive, easy to wear, just throw it on. Um, the silver bottle may, <laughs> may make me gravitate toward it once in a while, uh, much more than the palm. Man, that lavender palm was bad. That was a bad lavender-based fragrance, personally, for me, from the brand, and I'm happy that one got discontinued. Uh, but anyway, at the end of the day, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your lavender-based fragrance wisely. Thanks for watching YouTube. Have a good one.